In this video, we're going to show you how you can slow down your project for a really cool tape stop. So here's an example of how this sounds. So over the course of a few bars, it's slowing down, it's lowering in tune, it's getting quieter, it's getting more filtered, and I think this is a great effect. Let's start with the slowdown effect. We're gonna go up to the view menu and show the master track. Then we're gonna right click on the, uh, the button that'll say read or trim read here and enable the play rate envelope. So when we show that, this is controlling this knob in the transport bar. This controls the playback speed of your project. So in this case, I have a envelope point where I want to start the, uh, the automation. So it's just at one. And at the end of the project, I have this at 0 0.5. I just add it in a point and moves it around to drop by half the speed. I have some other automation going on here as well. So I've got the volume lowering from zero dB to minus 8.2. You could go even further with this if you wanted to go out to complete silence. And then the last thing I did was an EQ on here. So this EQ automates high shelf filter frequency. So at the start of it, it's at 22K. and At the end, it's at 69 Hertz. So very filtered, muffled sounding and exactly the sort of effect I want. So let's play that again with the automation and effects visible. There's a couple other things that I need to mention with doing this. So if you right click on the play rate control, I have preserve pitch and audio items when changing master play rate turned off. And that gives me that pitch drop effect. So let's turn that on. And uh, now the pitch is going to stay the same, but it will still slow down. Let's hear that. And so it's a sort of a different effect. If you didn't have that filtering happening there, then you would hear the symbols getting really grainy, uh, kind of bad sounding. So let's, uh, I'll just solo the drums. Yeah, so we can hear kind of the artifacts. We're stretching out the items. And already there, we're hearing the, those grainy artifacts. So it's much nicer sounding to have the pitch drop as well. And then the last thing I need to mention is that this does not work with MIDI. It just triggers the MIDI slower with more gaps in between. So if you want to use this in a project that has synths or piano or uh, virtual drums, you need to render those or freeze them first, and then you can do that master play rate trick. And that's it. Just a quick tip for you today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.